welcome to Cody's Movie Cave. Today we will be discussing, or I am cordially inviting you to my review of The Invitation. That's right, The Invitation. It is a new suspense horror movie. Movie. Can't talk good, but. And it obviously has vampires in it. So. Uh oh. There we go. Anyway. The Invitation. It is a suspense horror movie. It stars Natalie Emmanuel from Game of Thrones and Fast and the Furious. Ah. And it also stars Thomas Doherty, who was on the Disney Channel movie Descendants. Other than that, I have no idea what he was on. But, they're the lead stars, and the story is about a young woman, Natalie Emanuel's character, who is living in New York, working odd job to odd job. And she a little lonely, a little lost. She doesn't have any family, per se. She just lost her mom, so she's kind of in a low spot. She comes across one of these DNA, you know, family tree type deals where you swab the inside of your mouth or spit on a stick or what have you. Send it off, and you get your results of all your family distant and close. Turns out she's got a cousin who him and his family are from Charlie Ode, England. And uh, he happens to be in New York, so they have lunch. He says, hey, there's this wedding coming up. Why don't you come go to it with me and meet your other relatives? They're excited to see you. And um, so after much convincing, she decides to go. Hey, meet this family she's never seen before. What could go wrong? Just met this person. Sure, let's go to England. Like I said, what could go wrong? Gets there, and uh, the wedding and this whole party is being hosted by the lead actor. The something gets a little smitten for her. She gets smitten and bitten. Oh. But anyway, yeah, so she, uh, she winds up liking this dude, and, you know, things are not what they seem. You know, there's some danger lurking around this big creepy ended mansion. And some stuff that goes bump in the night. But uh, anyway, won't spoil any of the rest of it. I'll just kind of let that happen and let you watch it on your own. Here's the thing. This is a good movie. If you like horror movies and you like the old school, like Bram Stoker, Dracula, that kind of old school movies, you will dig this one because I certainly did. I liked it. It was good. Um... So, yeah, if you like scary movies, this is be one for you to check out for sure. Um, got some jump scares in there. Got some creepy stuff. It's definitely scary. Um, like I said, there's some moments where you're, where you're going to go, Don't go in there! Why are you going in there? Are you crazy? Or, uh, or you'll wind up going, What? You know, lots of jump scares. And uh, so, yeah pretty cool stuff now will this movie keep you up at night and keep you from getting sleep and scare you to death no it's not that intense of a horror movie in my opinion but you know some people might be a little on the scared side of things but it definitely is a good scary horror movie when it comes to gore there is some intense kind of frightening scenes not over excessively gory but it is violence and there is blood it is about blood suckers what do you expect um it's however it's not rated r it's pg-13 but i feel like it kind of borderlines right there really close really close to the line of r ratings but uh, it's not too long. I think it's an hour and 50 minutes or something like that. If I would critique anything about it, I would say that the ending kind of feels rushed. feels like we kind of get there too fast. I'd like it to have been just a little bit longer, you know, kind of get some more backstory, some more um, 
developing of this whole thing without it just jumping right into it. And when you watch it, you'll know what I'm saying, talking about. Other than that, though, that's really the only negative thing I'd have to say about this movie. Um, like I said, there's some really great twists toward the end that um, if you're not looking for it, you really won't see it coming. Um, and like I said, the lead actors and actress, they do a great job. They have good chemistry together. Uh, they work really well off each other. If you are a Gotham fan, like the TV series Gotham that came on back in the day, you will recognize the creepy-ended butler in this movie. That is also played... He played a good butler in Gotham. He played Alfred on the TV series. But in this one, his butler is, is, is on the demented, sort of creepy vibe. So be on the lookout for him. You'll, you'll, you'll recognize him if you watch Gotham. So, yeah, The Invitation. Still playing in theaters, so you can check it out there. It's been out for a pretty good while, so I'm not sure how many showings you can catch. But um, if you don't want to do that... Here's the good news. Here's how I watched it. You can buy it on digital. It's not rent. You can't rent it yet because, like I said, it's still playing in theaters. But you can buy it on digital copy and watch it at home on Amazon, uh, Vudu, Apple, the whole the whole shebang. Like I said, you can't buy it. I mean, you can't rent it, but you can buy it. Uh, that's a pretty good option. You can, you know, be at, be at your house and turn all the lights off, you know, and turn on a scary movie. Yeah, sit there in your underwear and, and, and watch it. Why not? You know, I think it's 20 bucks or so to buy, but, I mean, hey, that's the same price of going to the movies, and at least this way nobody is going to see you chicken out at the house, right? So, with that said, The Invitation. I invite you to watch The Invitation. I give it two thumbs up. It's a good, scary movie, and, uh, yeah, not for kiddos, very much not for kiddos, but for adults, it's a good movie, it's a good date movie, I'd say, you know, watch with the missus as she gets into that scary stuff, watch it with mine, and she made it through it, and she doesn't like scary movies, so that should kind of tell you something about it, so yeah, invitation, check it out. Go take a bite out of it. Ha ha ha. But yes, um, so, as always, this is my opinion. And opinions are like bottoms. Everyone has one. Some of them stank. <laughs> <laughs>